up, Aries, and thank you guys so much for tuning into your November reading. Okay, guys, I am posting this a little bit early, so just a quick snippet. I'll be in New York October 26th and 27th for anyone who is looking to meet me. I'll leave the link there. Okay, done? That's gone. Now, all right, guys, so let's see what has been going on with you. Let's see how things have progressed since last month. What is happening with the sign of Aries? November 2017, past, present, and future. What is happening with the sign of Aries? All right, guys, let's see what's up. Okay. All right, guys. So the energy that you have here is the judgment card. This is a very strong energy to have. This is you guys coming to a point where you've seen a situation, you know, completely through. You've seen the benefits it has had on you. You've seen the struggles it has caused you. And now you're at a point where it's time to make a decision. Do you stay with this? Do you leave this? Do you grow with this? Do you change the path? Okay, this is looking at everything and making a major decision here with the judgment card. Now, we do have the three of swords and the reverse behind this. And the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, as well as the Two of Cups in the reverse. So maybe there is a situation where you guys had a fallout, okay? And you're still not over it because with the Three of Swords in the reverse, this is kind of suppressing uh, a heartbreak, suppressing a disappointment, letting everybody think that you're, you know, extremely good. With the judgment card in the upright, this is telling you that it was right to let this go. And then it's sandwiched with the wheel card. So for those of you in pain, just know you're on the right path, okay? Especially if you left something behind. The devil card in the reverse, taking yourself out of a toxic situation. Aries, we're about to get deep early. Let's see what's going on. All right, guys, the first card you have for the past, the three of cups in the reverse. With the three of cups in the reverse, third party situation. Okay, you had a lot of threes and a lot of reversals. Six of cups in the reverse. So a situation where there's a third party situation, whether it's on your part, whether it's on, you know, someone else's part. But you part ways. Okay, I feel like you're parting ways and maybe you're trying to do it amicably, but the secret comes out. You part ways with someone that you've been dealing with for a while and you keep them moving. With the next card here, the High Priestess, whether it was you or the person that, uh, you know, depending on who was getting cheated on, maybe it was both people getting cheated on, but with the High Priestess here, it's like you were fully aware of the situation. It's something that you felt in your gut, even if you didn't have proof. So you knew that it was a burden that you had to release. Okay. The chapter here had to end. You had to completely walk away from this, see it for what it is, and start a new chapter. Anytime the world card shows up, it's going to be a good chapter that you're moving towards. And then you guys have the, you know, the wheel card there, so this is a good thing. Judgment card upright, whether it was on your behalf that this, you know, major, whether you guys did the major damage or whether the major damage was done on someone else's part, it doesn't matter. You guys are just not bringing out the best in each other, okay? And be with people who help you grow. Never be the smartest, wealthiest, most beautiful person in the room, okay? There's always something that can be learned, all right? The next card you have here is the Seven of Swords in the Reverse. So with the Seven of Swords in the Reverse, you know, these are secrets coming out. Anything that's, you know, done in the dark is coming to light. And it's, that's, you know, this is why the situation isn't moving forward, all right? But there's still the sense of resiliency and being strong and standing your ground. And this could be you just standing your ground with the fact that you chose to leave and walk away from the situation. Now, in the present moment, we do have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So for some of you, you were dealing with um, an air sign here. So you have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. 
whoever this person is, they're either, you know, they're either salty because for some of you it could have been you that, you know, brought the third party in. Or they could just be mad at the fact that maybe they got caught or maybe things are transpiring the way that they are because you're really standing your ground. No matter who messed up or who did what, you're standing your ground with the fact that you want to move away from this. And whether this person wants to, you know, reconcile or if they're upset that you, you know, did this to them, they're just, they may be making the situation worse. But you guys could also be taking on this energy as well. The Queen of Swords in the reverse is someone who's in, uh, there, well, she's already in a bad position to begin with. This could be a guy too. All right. But they take that situation and they really just make it worse. Someone who just focuses on the negative. So instead of saying, you know, I lost my favorite pair of sneakers. They're really expensive. Instead of, you know, going crying, you know, hitting walls because you lost your sneakers, you could think, okay, well, maybe if I budget, you know, $50, put it to the side every week, eventually I could get another pair. You know, we got to work on the solution. So here, this is just someone who's not focusing on that solution. They're focusing on everything bad and just squeezing the bad out of everything. And they're creating a lot of conflict. Or you guys are creating a lot of conflict, okay? And this is causing everybody to feel imbalanced in the situation. But there's a decision. And, you know, this is in your present moment. There's a decision that, you're, that you come to. You have the page of wands in the reverse. So you decide here, you're just going to let it go, okay? Maybe some of you were dealing um, with another fire sign, but this could just be you choosing not to communicate with this, any, uh, with this situation anymore because you know that it was very unstable. You know that you were unhappy. But you're in a place of limbo, okay? You're moving away. You know that it's not something that you want, but you're not sure how to proceed just yet or what path you want to take just yet. You're kind of in a place where, you know, with the hanged man and the hermit card, you're just chilling right now. There's a shitload of stuff on your mind. You're really contemplating the next move, the next step. Thinking about every path and the possible outcomes that could come from that path. Trying to be a few steps ahead. But knowing that you're not going to make any movement forward until you figure something out. Okay, because there's a huge loss here that I feel like you guys really just need to process. Okay, you need to process it so that you can get back to who you are. You can get back to yourself. You know, the charming, hardworking, you know, creative people that you guys are. Moving forward, the first card you guys have is the Emperor. So I like this because this is your card as well. So you're finding this power. You're getting back to where, you know, where you used to be before the situation. The Emperor is someone who's been through a lot in life. And because of, you know... The age, the wisdom, experiences, they're able to make the decisions, okay? Now, guys, any of these energies could be, uh, you know, if it's a male, it could be for female. If you see a female on the card, it could be for male, okay? Two of pentacles. So you're standing within your power again, but there's something in the future that you're trying to make a choice about, something that you're juggling in your mind, and it could be do you go back to the situation or not? I feel that you choose not to, and it's saying that that's a victory. It's saying that that's, you know, the best move to me. Because there's a lot of recklessness attached to the situation, whether it was you or somebody else. You guys do have uh, a lot of air showing up, okay? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So you move on from a situation, you really end it. Someone's upset, or maybe you're upset. But this is something that's going to be good. You may not see it at the time that it's happening, but it's pushing you on the path that you're supposed to be on. Everything in life happens for a reason. Never cry too much over spilled milk, okay? Let's get some bounty quicker up and clean that shit up. All right, guys. Last card we have here. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. So this could be, uh, this could be you guys getting out of something and kind of just saying, fuck this, I'm going to have fun. I'm going out and just, you know, doing, doing what you got to do. Or this could be, you know, this could be a situation where you're also dealing with that person or that, uh, that well, yeah, dealing with that person that you left behind because I feel like a lot of you, this is going to be love. So it could be a water sign here. It could just be anybody who's, you know, very charming and, you know, slightly promiscuous in the situation. 
if this is the person from the past and you see this happening, then this is just confirmation that you made the right move, honestly. If it's you guys, then what you do when you're single, that's your business. Okay? <laughs> Two of cups in the reverse. Yeah, still seeing that fallout. Page of swords in the reverse. I feel like you guys are just seeing someone for who they truly are. Definitely see something ending. For 98% of you, maybe it's going to be a relationship or a strong friendship or just some sort of relationship of some sort. Okay? For some, it could be a job. But definitely see something ending. And you guys standing your ground with it. Alright. So let's see what's in the cards for your advice. And like every month, I'm using the Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer, okay? If I could find them. Yes, here they are. What is the guidance that Aries needs to hear? For November 2017, what is the guidance that Aries needs to hear? Alright, so you guys got the card Harmony. Alright, Music Harmony. Okay. This is a time of considerable harmony for you. One where the various elements in your life are flowing together smoothly. Just as in musical harmony, it is the interface of these elements that merge into a cycle of symmetry and balance that evokes feelings of harmony. The challenge is to sustain this inner accord even when there's considerable dissonance outside of your mind, heart, and body. Note the sensations, emotions, and thoughts you experience when everything seems to be moving along well. Take three deep breaths and let your breathing be the anchor that reminds you of this state of consciousness. Whenever you perceive chaos around you, know that it is a mirror for your inner turmoil. When you recognize this, take three or more breaths to bring forth the memory of those moments when your life was like a symphony. Then every time you exhale, you are releasing the energy of your internal state of harmony into the world and it will have amazing effects. So, you know, throughout the whole spread, there's cards of you guys, you know, leaving something behind, cards about, you know, possibly being upset, but in that same pile, in that same bunch, you guys would have a real fortune, you know, you'd have the cards of temperance, just cards telling you, you know, the judgment card of right, letting you know that this is the right path to be on. Again, you may not feel that when it's initially happening, but you really are getting back to who you are or who you were before all of this. You know, in the future portion of the spread, you guys are showing up as yourselves. You know, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, the Emperor. So there's this power that you get back. You're finding that flow again. And I think that you're realizing that when things in life are for you, when a person's meant for you, when a job is meant for you, you know, just anything we deal with, when it's meant for you, it's going to flow. It's going to harmonize. It's going to be beautiful. If there's resistance, if there's, you know, feelings of great anxiety, you know, feelings of humiliation or feelings, you know, just anything that's negative that we don't like to feel, then that should tell you something. What's in your life right now? Who do you have in your life right now? And how is that harmonizing with you? Okay. And for those of you that, you know, could be getting the shitty end of this where you're in a lot of pain, turn to music. Okay. True story. I danced for, you know, 13 or 14 years of my life. And you know when I would break up with someone? Right before dance class. Right before I saw the squad. Right before I was with the team. Because by the time I was done, three hours later, after dancing, you know, and just being in my element and just, you know, letting that take over because music will do that. You know when you hear that good song and there's just chills throughout your body, just talking about it, I feel it. It's such an escape. Whether you're dancing, whether you're singing, playing something, or just simply listening. Let yourself be taken away by good things that make you feel good and tingly, all right? So you guys are doing what you have to do. There's hardship here. I see it. 
but it has to happen. All right, you're going to lighter, uh, you're going to lighter energies. You're going to higher vibrations now. You're letting go of anything that was just leaving you, you know, half of what you were, half the man that you were, half the woman that you were. You're getting back to you. Yeah, it sucks that they left, but you're more important. All right, guys, I love you so much. And if there's absolutely anything that you guys need from me, I put everything in the description below. So for those of you looking to get personal readings, um, I do my best to get them out anywhere from 5 to 10 full days. Okay, so just give me that amount of time. Shoot me an email. Let me know what you need a reading on. I will record it and send it to you just like the video that you're watching here. And it's just a private link. Nobody else can see it. And for those who are interested in learning tarot, that's also something that I'm doing. So I will leave everything in the description as well. People of all levels, even if you've never touched a deck before, happy to help. All right, guys. I love you so much. Take care. See you soon.